Welcome to PC Wits Kids Answer Back episode number 9. Today I'm looking at a question that I've been receiving from you guys and I'm going to try to answer it to the best of my knowledge here. Your your connection is slow and uh, you're not quite sure how fast it is and you'd like to improve it. Well, obviously first of all is your router, your cable modem, uh, check those connections to make sure that you're connected at a proper speed. So if you've got a wireless G router, well, are you connecting at 54 megabits per second? Is your signal strength full? You know, so those are basics that you should check. If if your speed is is not um, at full, connected just to the router at 100 megabits per second, for example, and uh, then you got a problem there. So the problem might start right at that point. Now, if everything is fine at that point, then uh, the second thing to find out from your ISP is what is the advertised connection, right? What is the speed that they said you're supposed to be getting at the maximum and are you even close to that um, to find out if you're close to that you run speed tests so the dslreports.com website that I've been using for many years has different places where you can run speed tests Time Warner cable has a speed test too that you can choose the uh, state that you're closest to and then run the speed test that's the key thing about running these type of tests, okay, that you choose the location nearest you. Otherwise, you're not going to get accurate results on the uh, speed test, okay? So make sure you always choose the nearest location. So Time Warner has, um, has a speed test. DSL Reports has several speed tests. And other major internet providers also have their own um, speed test as well. So if you're on Verizon, for example, then Verizon has one. You can go and run theirs and check and see what uh, your connection um, is like. If you're on Rogers, Rogers has one as well. And you can uh, run that speed test and it'll give you the results as well, right? So you don't have to be an internet provider of one of these places to run a speed test. By the way, it's free. Just go to the website and just click click the button to start the test. That's it. Um, there's many different um, speed tests out there, okay? So you might want to try a bunch and then that way you can compare to see where exactly um, you get the maximum best results. So here's here's an example of uh, download speed, 9 megabits per second roughly here. You can see 9,323 kilobits per second. And the upload is about 1 megabit per second. So what does that all mean? Well, that means that uh, basically I'm downloading at roughly 1 megabyte per second. Roughly. Okay. So it's a pretty good connection that I've got. So I don't really need to tweak anything at this point. Um, but... If you did want to tweak, go back to the dslreports.com um, tool section and click on the tweak test. That one is going to give you some more information than the speed test. The tweak test actually will give you some recommended values that you can change in your registry to improve your uh, download settings, for example. Okay, so make sure when you go here, you read all this information and um, you know and understand what it can fix and what it cannot fix. So it won't fix uh, bad quality lines, data loss, your PC freezing up, you know, the ping time, stuff like that. It will improve TCP IP connection, download speed. That that download speed through your TCP IP connection will be improved. Just fill in this uh, little form here about what type of cable company do you got, uh, what is their advertised speed in kilobits per second. You have to check that out on the... Uh, internet service provider on, on your ISP's website. I don't have that information for you. And uh, once you fill all that out and uh, it gives you the recommended values, then you can go in and follow the instructions. So under there, it'll give you, okay, you need to go into the registry and change this uh, registry setting. And um, it actually tells you what to do. Okay, so um, you can read the FAQs. It gives you step-by-step -step instructions and um, you can try those okay in my case here you can see the observations everything's fine so i don't really need to do any changes i'm, I'm going to leave mine as is but that's one thing that i recommend you do now you could have problems with your line maybe it's very noisy so your ethernet connection your cable connection or your dsl line is noisy that's going to uh, obviously affect the quality of your line and decrease it okay and if that's the case then obviously you'd have to contact the internet provider and they'd have to come down and check and all that stuff. If you've got interference, a whole bunch of people have wireless all around you and maybe everybody's using wireless um, uh, phones, right? The the 2.4 gigahertz, the 
whatever gigahertz, all these new phones, well, obviously the interference from wireless is going to affect it. Or maybe you've got a lot of internet apps, you know, programs running in the background while you're connected, and that's interfering as well. So many different reasons that uh, that you could have a slow connection. So anyways, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Keep the questions coming, and thank you for watching.